Hello all YouTubers, welcome to another video by APU913 with APU GFX and Infinite Updates. And on today's video we're going to work with Adobe Photoshop CS3 and we're going to teach you how to select. Um, this isn't just drag and click, I mean uh, click and drag and use the mouse only. You're going to need a couple features in here. So when you start up Photoshop CS3, you just go to File, New. Now you can open up a new document or you could um, open a uh, previous picture. We're just going to click Open for now. And we're going to go and find a good picture. Let's go to our pictures. Um, we'll go with this image of this person's face. There we go. And I don't exactly remember where I exactly I found this um found this picture, um probably at uh, stock exchange. Dot cu. Just type in sxc. Dot something hu I think in Google and you'll you'll find it. Um. Okay. So there's a couple ways you can select. Actually, there's a lot of ways you can select in this in this um program. But first, we're going to teach you. I'm going to tell you what selecting actually is. Selecting is when you choose a specific spot or an area, select the pixels on those on that on that area, and you can change those pixels or modify those pixels to do what you want. On the tools for selecting, there are a couple. Um select, obviously up here. There's the magic wand, a lasso, rectangular marquee, there's paths, and there's basically five. Um so we're going to start off with a pen tool. We're going to make a path. Take the pen tool, just click, and make sure you have you can drag it out, uh, hold and drag, and click uh, the pen tool or shortcut P on your keyboard. And just click, click, basically just click where you want. And if you click, hold, and drag, you can get a little curved, get a little more precise. But for now, we're just going to select his hair really roughly. Very, very roughly. And when you see that little circle right next to the pen tool, that means we've uh, made a, a shape. Now, in our layers panel, we're going to click paths. And now you see that's a path, and you can see the gray space is what we have not selected. Our black space is our line. And our white space is what we have selected. We're going to right-click and make a selection. Now, whenever you select something, there'll be a thing called marching ants. Right here, you can click OK. You can measure around, measure. Um, you can mess around with the feather radius, but for right now, we're gonna click zero and click OK. Now you can see the marching ants. They're little black and white things, and you can drag and select. Control Z that. If we go back to layers, we can um, Control J and make that into a new layer. So when we go to our previous layer, we only have the hair. But we'll talk about that layer stuff later. We're just gonna work with um, we're just gonna work with selecting. And that's the pen tool. The next tool is your magic wand. This this tool is pretty crazy. You can really select um, all the colors. There's if you dr click and drag out this quick selection tool, which basically selects what how big your brush size is and all the pixels around it that are similar to it. The magic wand tool does the same, except that it selects. It, it's, it selects more, so the tolerance is less. It selects more of those pixels. Control D is always to deselect. Um, so if we were to get the quick selection tool, we make our brush size a little bit smaller. We could get a little bit more precise, get what we really want. But if we just want to get it all really quickly, just get the magic wand tool, click, and there we go. We got all the pixels near that look like that. Control D is to deselect again. Now the lasso tool... There's a couple things you can do. The lasso tool is a free form. You, wherever your mouse goes, you is where you're going to select. And then when you let go, it'll automatically connect to the starting point and make a marching ants. And that's your selection. Now, control D that. That's pretty good if you have a tablet. But if you're using a mouse, not so great. The polygonal lasso tool is only for making lines and angles. You cannot really curve. When you click and drag, it does not curve. 
It's only for lines, basically, for polygonal shapes. Control D that. And then the magnetic lasso is it sticks to the layers that we have. So as you can see, it's sticking to that the edge of the color and staying away from the white. Uh, when we get into the shirt, it doesn't really work. But as you can see, it's magnetizing to the uh, it's attracting to the colors, and we can just make that a shape. And we selected his whole head. Control D that. Next thing is a marquee tool. Um, we have rectangle. Uh, elliptical, single row, single column, rectangle, rectangular, and elliptical. Uh, it's basically you just get a get a square, and there you go. You've selected it. Same thing, elliptical. You just click and drag out, and boom, you got a circle. So you selected all those pixels. Um, now the that we've teach you, we've taught you the four in the toolbox. Now, if you go click select, you can select all, select the whole picture. Um, the shortcut I will say in a little bit. Control D that. Select. Reselect is when you just reselect all layers. It's speak for themselves. The color range is pretty um, difficult. This shows you all the colors that are the darkest. It's so you can really pick out what you want. If you hold down Control, you can actually see the real color. So say I just want his pink lips. I hold down Control, click his pink lips, and everything that's in that same area I have selected um, in that same color tone, we can change the fuzziness up. More pinkish. That looks kind of creepy, actually. Whoa, that's creepy. Turn that down a little bit. I just want his pink lips. Just the pink. Okay. Got the pink on his lips. And there we go. And that's basically how you select. Now, this this selection that I've just taught you, the way select, they can be used in every single Photoshop image that you're working with. If you ever want to only... If you ever want to make someone's hair brighter, their eyes darker... Um, make their skin from turn from black to white. Make um, make anything. Just select, and you can control those pixels that you've selected. So um, that's about it, guys. Remember to subscribe, write, and comment. Check out my other videos. Um, if you play Modern Warfare 2, there's a MW2 lobby going on tomorrow, Thursday, March 25th, I believe. Um, and yeah, have a nice day. <laughs> My dick cost a late night fee. Yo, dick got the HIV. My dick plays on the double feature screen. Yo, dick went straight to DVD. My dick bigger than a bridge. Yo, dick look like a little kid.